John King USA, CNN, weeknights 7 Eastern. Exclusive CNN reporting about a secret U.S. diplomatic effort designed to get the Libyan strongman Muammar Gaddafi to step down. Our Ivan Watson broke this story earlier today. The secret meeting held Saturday in Tunisia. Several high-level Gaddafi regime officials attended, and the U.S. delegation was led by the U.S. Ambassador Jean Kretz, who was recalled from Tripoli when the Libya uprising began five months ago. U.S. officials tell CNN the meeting was to deliver this blunt message. Gaddafi has no choice but to yield power. These U.S. officials tell me no additional meetings are planned because the message, again, that Gaddafi must go was, in their view, clearly delivered. But Gaddafi spokesman Musa Ibrahim, in an exclusive conversation with our Ivan Watson, had a different take. This is a first step, and we welcome any uh, further steps. And we are prepared to uh, talk more and explain what is happening in Libya and take the matter forward. We don't want to be stuck in the past. We are people who want to move forward all the time for the good of the Libyans and the good of the international community. Who participated? Uh, if I may, uh, I mean, you know, this is, it's not the time now to name people, uh -huh. but you know, it's it's a first step dialogue, okay? But it was direct face-to-face -face Libyan-American talks yes. in Tunisia on Saturday. Yes. Ivan Watson with us now live from the Libyan capital. Ivan. Fascinating reporting there. Uh, what was the answer when the United States delegation, as I'm told, said he has to go, this is non-negotiable, and he has to go soon? Uh, did the, I assume the Libyans want to drag this out. Well, you know, in that conversation with Musa Ibrahim, the, the Gaddafi government spokesman, uh, he said that the Libyan side took this time to try to explain their position, to deny uh, many of the accusations against Gaddafi and the security services here, claims that they were killing civilians and, and other types of human rights abuses. Uh, so we're hearing two completely different versions here. Uh, I didn't hear anything at all uh, about uh, a message being delivered uh, that Gaddafi had to step down. And the, the regime here in Tripoli has been vehement about this, that there is no way forward if that is going to be a precondition from the U.S. and its allies in NATO before negotiations can take place. But this was a three-hour meeting, John, according to the State Department, uh, uh, officials who've spoken to us, and if the U.S. officials were just giving uh, one clear, blunt message, Gaddafi had to s step down, clearly a bit more than that was discussed at that meeting. And Ivan, as this diplomacy, as we watch to see whether it continues or whether it was just one meeting between the U.S. and the regime, uh, some developments on the military campaign today, including the first-time bombing of one target. Tell us about that. That's right. Uh, the, the fighting is grinding on here. We're into four months of NATO bomb bombing. Uh, early this morning before dawn, uh, Tripoli International Airport, the main gateway into Tripoli, was hit. Uh, a precision attack on a radar station there that NATO says was being used to detect NATO warplanes. The Libyans denying that completely, saying it was a civilian target. Of much more concern is the fifth day of fighting now in the eastern strategic oil town of Brega, uh, where rebel fighters say they have been trying to attack uh, Gaddafi forces there. They've run up against minefields. They say they've suffered casualties. And today, the Libyan government here in Tripoli saying that they have killed up to 500 rebels who they say were even trying to attack in waves from the sea in small boats. That battle appears to be going on, and both sides say they have suffered casualties as a result with disputing claims about who is in charge of that key town. The Tripoli government, John, they're saying that they will turn Brega into hell rather than let it fall into the hands of their enemies.